And welcome back! Who is excited to flip some houses? <laughs> I haven't played House Flipper in ages. It was probably like last year that I last played House Flipper. So I'm kind of excited to give it another uh, go because there was a new farm DLC that just came out. So I'm, I'm curious. <laughs> I'm curious to experiment with the farming in House Flipper, I think. So we're gonna do that today. I bought it, we're gonna game. What's House Flipper? Oh, you'll see somewhere. You, um, it's like a game where you renovate houses and stuff, but uh, you like physically do it. Like you'll like paint the wall, <laughs> sweep the floor. It's really cool. Um, it has a pretty cool build mode as well, like as far as decorations and stuff go to like furnish the houses. So I think you'll probably like it. Um, Farm Flipper is fun and not as broken anymore. That's what I saw, that there was an update that hopefully um, improved it. Literally, this is my first, uh, I don't know what comes in the, in the farm DLC. This I'm learning right now with you. <laughs> so let's see. Over 1500 items, 10 new jobs, seven farm animals. <laughs> Why do they do this? Nine houses for purchase and three empty plots, nine new tools and mechanics, six crops and six animal products, ability to extend your house, create houses from scratch, create custom roofs. They've got 10 new engaging quests. Architect tool, drone, grappling hook, paint gun, chainsaw, changing and repairing roofs, horse riding. <laughs> Where's hope? <laughs> Where's Hope? They've got a horse riding? I didn't know that. Literally, I'm not seeing a single thing in this. Not a single thing. This is new to me. Um, what else? Cultivation of crops, which includes buying and planting seeds, watering, harvesting, and possible sale of the ripe harvest, raising farm animals, dynamic weather system, the ability to upload your own playlist of songs to the radio, and many more. Also, for the base game update, for vanilla players, you can sleep in beds, tile and panel many walls at once, new paint colors, they replace the fuse box. I don't know. Fascinating. I don't... <laughs> I don't know what to expect. <laughs> okay. I guess we'll see. I can't believe they added horses in the house flipper. What does that even mean? <laughs> hey lady, and no life, and simply Kayla, and Kelowna, and Sweetie, and Rach. Um, Sylvia, Ginny, AJ, Pink, and, uh, and A, and Heartfelt, uh, and Ills, and Whale, and Alice, and Peyton, and Callie, and Victoria, Rude, uh, May Pickles, Nye, Tori, China, Michaela, Sarah, I'm trying to catch up, Peter, Taryn, Apollo, and CMJ, and Chrissy, and Lisa, and Meg, oh my goodness, Josie, Grios, and Twine Spoon, Bit, Rainbows, Ellie, with a tier 3, 36 months, we got Egg, and Mira, and Oi, and Breer, Bree Berry, God. Hazel, Green Witch, thank you all for the subs, you guys. I'm almost caught up. Sierra, Tillaroy, Chronic, and Nerd, and Lissa, and Philan, and Fake, and Dragon, and Lord. There we go. Thank you all so much. Oh. Oh, you know what this is? The last time I played House Flipper was right after the pet update came out, the pets DLC thing. And so I, I'm pretty sure I put this here so I could wash a dog. Yeah! Look! See? I forgot about this. How do I give it the treat? Oh. See? <laughs> I got a dog. I don't- I feel like House Flipper has added so many random things this like i used to play this game so much when it first came out if you had told me like whatever that was 2017 that they were gonna add horses <laughs> why i can't wait this will be fun this will be fun okay i'm pretty sure um that in the map of jobs we can like start the farm flipper stuff so we'll probably do that there's horses yeah apparently it said in the list of features ride horses Honest, I've not seen a single thing about this until today. We're gonna learn this together. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> this is a group learning experience. <laughs> hey, Jordy and Remy and Haley and Emily, Libby, uh, Deirdre, Ice Cream, Katie, Fluffy, EK, Isabel, Alyssa with the 2700 bits. Thank you so much, everybody. 
Oh my goodness. You've seen a little bit, but you haven't played? Okay. Well, I'll play. Where is Molly? If you're looking for the perfect couple, visit our Joe and Lily, say the locals. Inseparable since childhood, happily married, and good ranchers too. And yes, sirree, they're doing so good. Yet the locals don't know that this morning, Joe and Lily found their barn damaged and their favorite cow, Molly, was gone. The couple might be able to handle one of these issues, but two at once are too much. Their cow is missing? Why does every game have horse mode except Sims 4? I'm gonna be honest, Vinny, I've been thinking the same thing. What if we played in the last two weeks? Let's see. Among Us. Horse mode. The Sims 3. Horses. Animal Crossing. Horses. <laughs> House Flipper. Horses. Sims 4. Hello. <laughs> Among Us did a horse mode for April Fool's Day. I'm actually not joking. Animal Crossing has horses? Yeah, there's a bunch of horse villagers in Animal Crossing. There's a whole bunch of them. Stardew Valley! Horses! <laughs> what do you mean Animal Crossing has horses? Guys, there's like a million animals in Animal Crossing. <laughs> They've got an octopus. They got everything. Everything. Anyway. Dreamlight Valley is uh, severely lacking in the horse department, though, I will say. Same with The Sims 4. I'm accepting this. I don't know. Katie Cutie, Tiger, Ross, Mojo, uh, Sweet Leaguer, Molly. <gasps> Molly with the 17 months. Oh, so that's where Molly went. Molly is the missing cow. Don't worry, guys. They just resubbed. <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> Found ya. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay. I don't know what to expect right now. I can't believe oh, here we go. When it all started to come together, this happened. Look at the barn. The roof is gone. The inside is a mess. And our Molly has vanished. We got her from the Happy Ranch when she was a cat. I could cry. She's the apple of my eye. Joe's been trying to find her for hours now. I must join him. It may be easier to spot her from my plane. You have a plane? Meanwhile... Sort out the barn, please. It'll be one thing less to worry about now. Where is Molly? <laughs> oh! Yeehaw! Okay, I need to move my face. This is really inconvenient, honestly. This game's um, UI. Because my face is like in a really annoying spot for it. Um, where do I usually put it at like the bottom? Maybe I'll put it at the bottom. I don't really want to flip it over here because I'm going to be facing the wrong way. So maybe I'll keep myself down here. Right? Yeah, that's fine. Okay, not mo- oh my god. All right, that's not Molly. That, oh, I'm stuck. How did this happen? Okay. <laughs> I can't believe they have cows. Rosie, Pisa, Sammy, Bella, Lady, Starry, Cucumber, and Sophie, and Rocky, uh, Kate, Cutie, Jenny, SK, Kay, and Tuffy, and Olive, and Rosie, thank you all for the subs. I'm sorry, I don't, I hope I didn't miss anything, you guys. All right, they want me to sort out the barn, don't they? Um. In here, we gotta clean up a lot of this. Maybe I'll start here, and then we can worry about the outside stuff, yeah? That is not a big enough area for cows, I'm just saying. Do you know what? I was kind of thinking the same thing. I don't know what they're doing. Anyway, so in House Flipper, basically, right now, what we're doing is cleaning up the trash. Um, and then we have to, like... You can do, like, you can buy a building and then, like, renovate the building that you've bought and, like, completely customize everything. They also have, like, some tasks like this where I've been given a task where it wants me to, like, you know, redo according to their preferences, the owners. What is that? Whoa! Whoa! Am I digging up 
Guys, am I digging up poop right now? I need you to be real with me. Am I digging up poop right now? Wow. Where am I just throwing it? This can't be good. I hear flies. That is not the vibes. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> okay. There's more! Just poop in my pocket, apparently. Wow, feels just like The Sims 4. <laughs> when you said House of Breath like men flipping houses, that's what this game is. There's a farm DLC that just came out though, so we're playing Farm Flipper. House Flipper is a uh, house flipping game. Um, where you can like, you know, paint the walls, tear down the walls, redo... Um, but again, the farm DLC just came out. Believe it or not, this is House Slipper. <laughs> I don't know what to tell you. Can I get up there? Let's find out. Ooh, I can even move that. Oh, no, no, let me up. Let me up. Okay, I'm not very smart, you guys. I can't figure it out. I'm not very smart, you guys. I can't figure it out. There we go. Got it. Got it. I'm not gonna die if I jump off this, right? No. There's a grappling hook? I know there's a grappling hook, but don't I have to- I assume I have to unlock that first. I don't think I have access to that tool yet. Because I just started doing this. Oh, they want me to buy a window. Oh, that's kind of fun. Let's clean everything up. This is house flipper, you cannot die. Well, it's- it's possible. I don't know. They've changed a lot since I first started playing this game. It's a reasonable concern. <laughs> Beloved, Lily, Ice, and Jenna, and Sunny, thank you for the subs, everybody. Oh my goodness. Okay. Oh, I missed a spot. Oh. I don't think I finished that, but I missed a web up there. Oh, did I? Oh, I'll have to go back probably then. That's okay. Yeah, imagine if they added a fall damage mechanic later. Like they don't have one now and then they go back and add one later and we're all not used to it and then we all just die. Okay, I'm just cleaning up all this dirt. Disgusting, disgusting dirt. See, isn't this fun though? So when House Slipper, when we do these, it takes a lot of like, originally cleaning up um, the stinky spaces and then slowly updating them. Again, right now we're doing like a task for somebody, so we don't have a lot of free reign, but um, you can do stuff where you like buy it and then control everything yourself too. It's kind of cool. I missed some spots, but it doesn't care. <laughs> oh, really, Polly? Well, hey, thanks for coming by. Sell object moo milk container. And then these. And these. Okay. I did miss a spider web up there. I missed one down here, too. Yeah, there's something about cleaning windows that's, like, so satisfying. <laughs> if only cleaning in real life was this, uh, this fun. What are you? Maybe I need to put something there. Clean dirt, clean the window. Do I have more dirt up here to clean? on the other side of the roof. Oh, that's right, because I have to go to the other side of the roof, don't I? 
I have to like do stuff on the roof outside. I haven't done any of the outside stuff yet. So wish me luck. We'll, we'll get to that next. The grappling hook is new. Cleaning in real life is fun. I mean, cleaning in real life can be fun. It's it's less fun when, you know, it's a nightmare. And, and like, for example, in this game, where you're shoveling poop. You know? So, ooh. What color are all the windows out here? They're white up over there. Oh, and my cow is missing. That's another problem. I got all sorts of issues right now. You just want this up here, don't you? I don't... Is that in the right spot? Yay! That's nice. Right? Anyway. <laughs> Logs whisper, cry and sweetly and affectionate and Gemini and little birdie, thank you for the subs. It's giving not asymmetrical, or not giving symmetrical. I think it's symmetrical. It looks symmetrical to me. I think we're okay. I think it's fine. It was hard to tell from that angle. That's something that I struggle with a lot in this game. Is like telling if stuff is symmetrical properly. Like this, me placing these hay bales, you can probably tell. It's like really hard for me to tell sometimes. Um, I'll just buy all this. I don't really care what goes up here. Hay bales do not cost that much. How much do hay bales cost in real life? <sighs> God, not a clue. <laughs> Those go downstairs though? I think it's telling me to put them upstairs because down here it's got different tasks. Uh, it wants me to place a fence and a gate too. So I'm pretty sure that I, I put it in the right spot. I don't know how to do this. I literally have no guess. I have not a clue how much a hay bale is meant to cost. Literally not a clue. I would have no idea. No idea. Didn't read your subs in advance. I thought I was caught up. I'm sorry if I didn't see yours. Thank you so much for the resub. Um, okay. I can lay these floor tiles. How about that first? That seems easy. Scroll the mouse a bit. I was scrolling the mouse. She didn't work. Let's try again. Yeah, I'm scrolling the mouse. What the heck? Okay, I think it's just really laggy. Oh, that's so weird. Okay. Yeah, it just needs time. I've scrolled. I think it's gonna pop up all of a sudden. Yeah. What the heck? Okay. Okay. <laughs> Miss Jess Wonderland, I want Jess, thank you for the subs. I need to get a gate too. Yeah, this is a little bit confusing. Um, round bales cost about 80 to $125, depending on the size. Square bales are a little cheaper than round, so house slipper is pretty close. Oh, okay. Good for them. Oh, that worked. 
Should I put besties? I don't know. That seems fine. I don't know. Let's buy a door. I like that. That's kind of nice. It's facing the wrong way. Okay. I don't know what to tell you. There isn't enough room to place this item here. Okay. I haven't played this game in a little bit, so there's like a learning curve again. So bear with me, okay? <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm, I'm re, uh, acquainting myself with this. Whoa, that was so cool. Um, I think I need to kill this. So I can, yeah, there we go. That's nice. Look at that. Wow. Okay. You said I put the gate facing the wrong way. I think it's, it could be bigger. That flooring is messed up, where? Oh, out here. Careful the budget. Oh, I'm, I'm, all I've bought so far is exactly what they've asked for. So, I don't, we don't need to worry about the budget too much because I'm not buying extras. If they're asking for too much, then that's their fault. Okay, let's get a light switch. Um, this is inconvenient. <laughs> I'll put it here. Um, fluorescent light. Ooh. I don't want fluorescent lights. I also... Can only hang it on a wall. Oh. Okay, you need six of them. Put two gates together makes a bigger one. Yeah, I tried that, but it felt like it wasn't working. I put the gates together first, and then they were like placing weird. I'm not that familiar with the gate system yet, so we might have to practice in the next house too. I guess I could try to get another. Do you think if I like open this up, I can put a new one? Don't put light on a window, put them in the back. Eh. I don't really care. <laughs> I just want it. This is a, this is like a tutorial version of the game. Okay, chat, like at the end of the day, we're just trying to figure out how we should do this and how, how it works. See, doesn't place together, liar. That's not right. I don't know what you want. Does it scroll too? Oh, maybe. I don't like the fence system. At all. I'm extremely uh, not enjoying the fence. Oh my god. Oh my god! <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god, this is new. I'm not familiar with this yet, okay? I'm not... The house flipper, the farm flipper, literally has been like so glitchy that it was like completely busted. So, um, it's not just me that's encountering this feeling, okay? You have to scroll so it faces the other way, one facing you, one away, then they snap together, so I'm not lying, okay. I see what you mean. Teresa, I tried placing the fence where the ghost part is. <laughs> it doesn't place right. I'm not even touching it. It doesn't like expand. And then all of a sudden it does expand. I can't see how big it's supposed to be. I like can't tell if it's filling in the whole thing. I'm, I'm really not obsessed with the fence. The fence and I are not friends right now. Is that right? Aha. Okay. Okay. Stupid fence. 
It's fine, it's fixed. Um... They had this just, like, out here before. Should I put it in here? I guess. I don't really care about the barn. Again, I'm just experimenting. Ooh, straw animal bed. Oh my god, they can't be touching each other. It is a trial run, exactly. Wheelbarrow? This is cute. Yeehaw! <laughs> a bucket. I'll put one over here too. And the round water trowel. Okay, I'll put one. No, you don't want to be there? Okay, I'll put one over here. And I'll put one over here. Whoa! <laughs> okay, hold on. Whoa! <laughs> hey, Chloe, Donna, Art, thank you for the subs. Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! Okay, that's all the indoor stuff. They also added a bunch of stuff that you can do outdoors now. Um, like a grappling hook and roof damage repair. So, a lot has really changed here since I last did this. Um... How do I go to the next page? I don't... What it, how does one get a grappling hook? Oh, it's right there. That would be how. <gasps> ah! Oh my god, how do I get out? Okay. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> hey, purple. Uh, Miss Old Glow, Claire, thank you for the subs. I missed your sub. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Nadine. Um, I'll, with, uh, I think I missed a couple. I really appreciate you. Thank you for the sub. Okay. I like roofing in this. This is kind of exciting. Okay, and then it wants me to use the grappling hook. If you want to move fast, use the grappling hook. Aim at an item within distance of 10 meters. Press left mouse button and fly. While using the hook, you can paint and plaster the outside walls. Okay. To access the new tools, I can press the Q key. Okay. Oh my god. Oh, that's fun. That changes everything. Huh. Uh, yeah. I'm excited about that. <laughs> I'm really excited about that. Oops. Let me out. Okay, I think I finished this job though. Is that part of the farm DLC? Yeah, it is. We can look around a little bit more probably. They have chickens. Oh my God. Hey, Amy, you know what, Jen, and Purple and Tenta, thank you for the subs. That is a chicken. Can I go in here? Oh, no. <laughs> oh. No. They have like a little garden section over here too. We can't do that much on these people's farm because they just hired me to fix their barn. But we'll do more farm flipping. Oh, I, can't, I can't even break into their house. It's 
stupid. Okay, well, I'll complete the job. They paid me 10,000 for that. I think they found their cow. Hope so. <laughs> okay, it's Sarah and Poet, thank you for the subs. We need a farm? We do need to buy a farm. Maybe I will. I probably can afford to buy one. Should we? I think so. Yeah, they didn't even tell us that they found the cow. I'm actually kind of upset about that. Like, why didn't they give me any cow updates? I unlocked the architect tool. From now on, you can build structures. Use the architect tool and place the foundation on the ground, then select its borders and give it a desired shape. Finally, press the E key to erect the building. I also got a hoe! I can plow a field! Oh my god. Should... Do you think that, like... Oh my god. I can buy... Wow. Okay. I'm wondering if we should do a couple more of the farm flipper jobs just to get, like, more practice before we build our own and, like, do our own thing. This one's about horses. So... Sophia has wanted to own a riding school since she was a child. After turning 13, she started to work as a stable hand, then became a riding instructor, and finally a stable manager, but it still wasn't enough. Now, she's able to realize her ambition. However, not all goes her way. The contractor she hired took their advance payment and never came back? <gasps> oh! That's sad. Also, uh, Craig and Grima and Beastly and Josie and okay, thank you all for the subs. That sucks. I want to see what happens here she got scammed no this game isn't free um it's on steam if you want to buy it though but it's been getting this game do you know what meaning i've had so much fun playing house over over the years oh you hold won't on. see a diamond till the job's done now, i know that what happened here is not your fault but no one will steal from me again i respect see? that this thing here was supposed to be a stable over there, I wanted to have a riding hall. Finally, apart from the other horses, two broncos for my sons. Because I was too trustful, we've got to start much smaller. I'll have a tiny but decent riding school. Everything you gotta do is on your list. Now, get to work and don't spare the horses. I'm scared now, I have to build it myself. Oh, loud. I unlocked the axe. Getting rid of, big, bit, rid of big trees requires cutting them down first. This is where an axe comes in handy. Remember that for safety reasons, the tree has to be cut as low as possible. I also have a chainsaw. To cut trees like a pro, select the chainsaw from the tools menu, then approach a tree and cut it. Watch out for falling objects. I don't know if I should be... Are you sure? Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> Alexandra Leo, thanks for the subs. I feel like I shouldn't be allowed to do this. Doesn't this feel unsafe to anyone else? Hmm. Do you recommend doing the male jobs before you move on to DLC jobs? Um, I would probably do a lot of the base jobs before you do any DLC jobs. You don't need to do all of them, but I think it helps because the, the, like, the jobs are kind of, like, tutorial-y. So, like, doing that, I think, might help you kind of get a feel for what you need to do. Don't think you're supposed to cut those trees. Well, I have to lay buildings down. I don't know how. House building. Whoa. How much 
Do I just need it in all this space? Press the select foundation twice to select an edge. It's behind the house. Oh, am I in the front of the house right now? Nothing happened. No, that's right. No, maybe not. Hard to say. No, you did it right, it goes there. Are you sure? It was marked green? Okay. You guys are making me second guess myself. Oh yeah, that looks right. The green is the building part, okay. <laughs> you scared me, I thought I did it all wrong. <laughs> you scared me. Okay. Well, how do I, what am I doing? Oh, okay. This is my first time doing this, so bear with me because I've I haven't done it yet, you know? I thought I was right, and then I got second-guessed. That was expensive. Okay, press E to finish building. Oh, wow. If only it were that easy in real life. <laughs> More sleep, right? Thank you for the subs. Huh. Okay. Lay wall tiles. Okay. Ooh, I got a skill point. Build outbuildings 10% faster, build them cheaper. You can design interior walls. Which one should I pick? This is so impressive compared to what it used to be. I think I want Miracle Worker, you think cheaper? Scrooge McBrick. Okay, um, press to begin building modification. Whoa. Oh. Oh, I wasn't supposed to do that. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just learning. I'm just learning, okay? It's, that's fine, it's just building now. Okay, um, oh, it's laggy, okay. Um, I need to lay some red brick. All right. Oh, that's so much better. It paints like so much more at once now. Oh. Oh, I have to buy a lot of this. Why is it doing it like that? Okay, sorry, I got it now, I understand. I'm learning, I'm learning, it's fine. It's kind of like weird and doesn't work that well. We're getting it though, we're getting it, it's fine. JC, thank you for the sub. Everything's fine. Is it laggy just for you? No, the game is being kind of laggy right now. It's not just you. The game is doing it too. You think the white outline's supposed to be a door or window? Yeah, that makes sense. We still gotta put brick everywhere though. Yeah, we're gonna need a lot of this. Um. Okay. Yeah, and then once we upgrade this, we'll be able to paint more at a time. Obviously. Um, no, you can't just apply to all. <laughs> Not right now, at least. 
Uh, we have to like slowly work on upgrading our skills and stuff and then you get faster at stuff. Um, if you think this is bad, you should have seen it before. Literally back in the day, when you're first starting, I'm, I'm more progressed with some stuff, but like you would paint like one wall at a time. This game requires like physical effort from you. <laughs> it's actually kind of fun though. You'll see when we start like demolishing interior walls and stuff, which we aren't really doing right now, you'll see us like um, physically like using a sledgehammer to break down the walls. It's kind of cool. <laughs> you put tiles on your kitchen walls a few weeks ago. It wasn't that easy and quick. Real life sucks. If only tiling in real life was like this, huh? Yeah, Ezra, I'm kind of noticing that too. I heard from a lot of folks that um, the new DLC is really, this farm DLC is really buggy. Um, and I, I don't know. I don't think it's as bad as it was when it came out a couple days ago, but I do think that it is still kind of buggy. We're doing our best. What's a DLC? It's like an expansion pack if you play The Sims. Um, okay. Have I gotten the roof glitch yet? No, that sounds scary. I haven't done a lot of roofing. I've only done, this is my second task I've done. So we'll see. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Matt, JC, thank you for the subs. Your stream just freezes? Oh, is the stream lagging? I think that's unfortunately on your end because I'm not dropping any frames right now. I'm so sorry. Um. Okay. I'm using a mouse and keyboard, Jess, to play this right now. I've never used a controller for this. Oh, okay, more. More. Not lagging? Okay, good. That is a relief. Okay. This game looks super frustrating. I don't think it is. I mean, it definitely has its moments, but I, I wouldn't like, when I think about House Slipper, I don't think like, oh my God, House Slipper is so frustrating. I honestly think it's really fun. I find it really relaxing to play. So, you're enjoying watching people play the DLC, but you definitely won't be buying it. I think that makes sense, Brianna. I don't know. I um, I had a lot of fun playing just base game House Slipper without any DLC, so. It's a lot of cleaning. Yeah, but I like the cleaning in this game. <laughs> Maybe a bit tedious. Yeah, I think the, the tedious nature of it though is intentional and it's kind of fun. It just depends what you like about games though, I guess, you know? Like you might not like the fact that it can be kind of tedious, um, but I, I do, you know? Okay. Um, I need these gates. Come here. Nice. Oops. There we go. Oh, the inside's already done. Oh, no, it's not. <laughs> Sorry. It's telling me where to put the gates. I thought it was because I saw like in the, the dust, but it's not. In fact, it is not. Imagine being strong enough to break through a brick wall. Do you know what else? I just spent all this time building these brick walls and now I'm breaking them down. What's up with that game? What's up with that? Why? Let's lay some floor tiles. I like that. Oh, I missed some. Okay. Yeah, I find the first person point of view, I'm with you. I Sometimes I'm probably gonna feel a little bit sick by the time I'm done with this today, to be honest. <laughs> um, unfortunately, I, I fear that this will, will probably get to me a little. Okay, are these like the smaller windows that belong where in the back? I don't know what the difference is. It's lagging. Weird. 
that with Minecraft. Oh, really? I don't get that in Minecraft, but I do get that in this game sometimes. Kind of odd the tile is tasked in a horse stable. It is weird. Oh, it's being so weird and glitchy. We knew this DLC was glitchy, though. The game itself I don't have as many problems with. Oh yeah, the floor is a lot easier than the walls. Are there two windows in the front next to the doors? Oh, is that where it goes? Oh, duh. <laughs> I see them now. I got it. Come here. It won't place. There isn't enough room here to place this item. Are you implying that I did it wrong? These are smaller. Never use tile in a horse stable, please. Horses can easily slip on it and get themselves injured. Okay, I'll keep that in mind for when I next build a horse stable. <laughs> oh, maybe I have to close the doors. That makes sense. I forgot they were open. You're so right. Um, there we go. One window? Two window. <laughs> okay, that looks really nice though. Complete the job. What? Really? Why is it telling me to complete the job? Something in the back that I need to build? Probably. Probably fences back there. There we go. Place a fence and a gate by some objects. Is this where it wants the fence placed? Hmm. I don't know. Is it already placed? It looks like it's working, though, when I place it. It's counting the percentage. Oh my god. Seems like I have a glitch with the fence already being there and not at the same time. Yeah, that's kind of what I'm thinking too. It looks like it's it's bugged somehow. That's so weird. Okay. I shall put the fence gate... There we go. That's lovely. Oh. I think that's bugged too. I don't know. Tabra <laughs> VJ Cinderella with the subs. Hope, 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 hope. <laughs> the black fence is just telling you where they want the fence placed. I don't think it's supposed to be black though, Lauren, because at the last place it was like grayed out. I don't know, um, besties, I'm gonna be completely honest with you. I have literally no idea what is realistic about like how far apart to place these and stuff. Absolutely not a clue. No more than three right in a row, okay. I know about horses. Um, let's get one of these. Um, I feel like I'm a little bit close to that tree. <laughs> um, okay, they could, you know, jump and whatnot. 
And then I'll do another one over here. Can I always cut down those trees? I could, yes. I think I'm stuck on it. Good to have one on a diagonal. Ooh, okay. I'll put them all a little diagonally over here. How about this? I'm stuck. Boom. Horses. I've completed 90% of the job. Okay. It is lagging. What am I missing? It looks like I... The fence in the stable? I don't think that I can place that. I think the gate is not finished. Trees aren't cut down. It says zero out of zero though. And there's a check mark. Oh, is it not counting my fence? I'm confused. I put another gate. Reload, Sims, you should fix it. Yeah, I think that maybe this is, um, I think that maybe it's glitched. It's, there's a known problem. Okay, there's a known problem with this. <laughs> you have to fill the stables, but it's bugged and not showing it. You need to decorate the stable. I don't know, it's saying 100%, so I'm gonna try and reload and see if that helps us. Hey, Madwife, Kaylee, Emily, Charity, Heather, Sabra, thank you all for the subs. I don't know. You had to reload to decorate the stable? Okay, that makes me feel better. That's, that makes sense to me. Let's resume. Need to finish the rest by putting in the enclosures. Okay. You have to do the stalls in the stable and it doesn't usually show in the tasks for you. Okay. It's just not showing in the tasks, so that makes sense. Um, I know that the gray, there was grayed out outlines in there, but I thought because it wasn't telling me to do it, I wasn't going to have to, but... If asked nicely, your pigs will find truffles for you. Oh my god, just like Stardew Valley. Yeah, that is my little house, Kay. I haven't, um, I restarted the game and I haven't built myself a new house yet. So. I suppose there's no roof on this either, huh? But, they didn't ask me to. There we go. Reloading gave me the tasks. For the room. Isn't that weird? Don't have the ability to roof yet? Okay, good. So it's not my problem. Okay, so what? I place like items down for this? Is that not in the right place? You have been outside. It mostly shows you the task only for the room of the task. No, I know that. <laughs> Guys, I've played this game a lot. I just was glitched. It's objectively bugged, okay? Please don't like... <laughs> I promise you it's objectively bugged. It was not showing me the task. A bunch of folks in chat said that they were having the same problem with it not showing the tasks. Um, I, I know how to play the game, I promise. Um, why are you doing that? I was looking through the whole task panel and everything. I don't know how to place these pillars. Places from the ceiling? Ah. Okay. I'll get everything in the exact right place, just you wait. Okay, let's get some gates. I'm 
One gate, two gates. One gate, two gate. Oh, that one's not in the right place. There we go. Um, oh, you're fine, cat. It's fun, even though it's a little bugged, it's still fun for me to see. Um, you know I love a farm game, so. <laughs> No, objects in this game don't really snap. One of the things that's kind of annoying about this game is like trying to place everything. Um, so I'm like trying to make sure it's all placed in the- oh. Lag, okay. Oh, okay. Okay. Get this one placed in the right spot. Oh, okay. And one more. I to change the colors. Yeah, I could change the colors, but I don't really care to change the colors on this because I'm never gonna come back here. So, should I have probably changed the colors on the pillars? Yeah. Did I? No. Oh my God, there's so many horse objects. This is kind of fun. I kind of love it. Okay, ceiling lamp rectangular. That's annoying that I might need this game now. Yeah, Hope, I think you might have to get it now that it's got horses. Look, I can turn it on and off. Um. Can I just line these up in front of these? I don't really care if they're even. To be completely honest with you. Don't look at the ceiling, okay? Um, all right, what's next? This isn't my house, so I don't care what happens to it. Sorry, I'm just being honest. <laughs> Horse mat. Ooh. Well, that's good. That'll help with the uh, fact that there's tile on the floors. Yeah, placing lights in this game is kind of annoying. It's hard to get them in the right place. As a lighting designer, I would not recommend that lighting placement for your actual barn. Yeah, well, I just didn't want to have to go in and out all these stables. So I just placed them in a line. Look, do the bare minimum. We're just trying to make money. I'm not worried about, you know. Well, that sounds really bad, but I'm just trying to be honest with you. Oh. Okay. I'm I'm just trying to make my money. I don't really care um, about what it looks like in there for them. If they cared, they should have given me more specific instructions. Emma scoops her food out of her corner feeder and throws it all over so she can eat it off the floor instead. That's really cute. Saddle pad racks. Um, what am I gonna do? Put it in front of the window. I don't like that there. As a horse feed bucket expert, that's a great spot for it. Good. You know, I'd probably call myself a horse expert as well. Um, as many of you know, I, uh, am a horse expert. Okay, I actually finished that this time. What, by association? Yes, Hope. Yay, I got $10,000. <laughs> Skittles, Miss Star, thank you for the subs. Are you gonna put horses in there for me? Maybe not. Oh, really? Name every horse? Um... Suddenly, I'm- I- I can't remember a single kind of horse. Ever. I can't think of a single one. Literally not one. I'm serious. Paint! Emma. <laughs> the one- the one kind of horse I can name is Emma. Clydesdale! Oh, I could have given you that one. I know Emma. Okay, let's do- let's do one more job. 
I think, just to get like the full, um, you know, the full vibes. In deep water, there's a fox. Being a forester, Morris Walden would really like to spend all his time in the woods, but how can he focus on his job when his house is in disarray? Fortunately, Mr. Walden knows exactly what to do. He'll call a professional. No one will do the repairs better than he would, yet there are some other urgent matters that require his attention. Okay. Knock on wood, everything will end up fine. <laughs> will it end up fine if I'm the one doing it? We'll see. We'll see. <laughs> You're putting me in charge. I'm not the most experienced. Um, but it's okay. <laughs> it's okay. Oh, it takes a while to load, huh? Sasha had an issue with that house. Oh, did she? Okay. Well, wish me luck then. My wife always wanted us to have a swimming pool. It seems that her dreams have finally come true. Pipes in the basement oh. have cracked and we're in deep water right now. Oh my God. Shouldn't be a huge problem for you though. Simply get rid of the water in the basement and renovate it. I want it all neat and tidy. I'd love to help, but I must deal with a fly dumping in the forest. I take care of one here and a moment later, another pops out elsewhere. Little bit like at your job, isn't it? Oh dear. Thought it was an ad, old man voice, jump scare. Oh no, I'm sorry. Use tool drone? Wait. Do I have to find it? Oh my God. Now you can take photos, water plants, and spray them using a drone. All you need to do is select it from the tools menu. Oh my God. Oh my God. Don't take a photo. Is it bugged? Okay, I won't take a picture. Don't use it, okay? <laughs> I'm out of the drone, don't worry. <laughs> if that's gonna break, then I won't use it. At least we unlocked the tool. What's that? Out of my way. Oh my god! Place a pump in the basement. Mm. How? Oh! Maybe a fuse is blown? Oh no. You want me to fix that? Do you think that it's down here? I can start cleaning stuff. Probably not down here. It's right on the basement wall. Like on the stairs. Oh. Oh my god, it's literally right there. Did I fix it? Oh my gosh, I'm doing it. <gasps> that was quite fun, to be honest. Well, sorry to his wife, no more pool. Uh oh. Oh, that can't be good. I'm so unqualified for this. Why do you have me doing this? <laughs> Oh, your basement's completely flooded here. Let me just come unscrew all your pipes, okay? I got you, Bessie. I can do it. <laughs> I didn't even turn the water off or anything. What kind of decorator does plumbing? Oh, I'm extremely talented. I oh, I did turn the water off. I'm extremely talented. I do everything.
So. Listen, I forgot that I turned a handle, okay? I realize now that I did turn the water off. I just wasn't thinking about it. I forgot that I did. <laughs> I'm like a plumber. I bet I could do it in real life based on my uh, extensive house slipper experience. What do you guys think about that? Yeah, I think so. I might have to clean some more of the dirt after this. They want me to sell objects. You want me to sell some of your stuff? Two garage shelves. Oh, not that one. These ones. I'm gonna sell all your stuff, whether you like it or not. I've decided. Oh, is that? Oh, it's just their trash, okay. Goodbye, goodbye. I think that as long as it's outlined in blue like this, it'll be fine to sell. Yeah. So we should be fine. Go away. Oh, hopefully I didn't need that. Not gonna lie, I would fire you for shelling all my stuff. Why? What's the problem? I didn't do anything. Yeah, all that stuff was in the water, so it's gonna be like gross. They'll be glad that I got rid of it, I think. Okay, I don't like this tile. I suppose nothing can be done about that. Oh, that's cute. Too bad I can't keep it. I guess it got flooded, so. Fine. Paint the ceiling. <laughs> the Sims 4 literally could never. Are you kidding? Look at this. Look at this. Yeah, imagine the person running your house is like, I'm just gonna sell all your stuff. You don't get a say in the matter. I'm just gonna sell everything. Okay. That was pretty good. First horses, now this? House Slipper is just mocking us at this point. Unbelievable. Okay. Just get new skill point. Gimme. Um, let's not waste paint. Okay. Does House Slipper have cars? No, I don't think we have cars in this game. It's a shame. None of my games have cars. Horses and ceiling paint. Mind blown. Okay. Can I turn the lights on in here? Cute! All right, you want me to change the stairs too? Um, I actually quite like them, to be honest. I just changed them and put them back to how they were. There is cars, you just can't use them? Okay, well like The Sims 4. Can you use them to decorate? Mm, yeah, it's like debug. Except not really. Gray oak, no. No. How about like a brown oak? No. Coarse dark oak? No. Dark ash. That kind of looks like the stairs. Um. I guess I'll put these two bookshelves. Oh, is it because the light's there that I can't? That's okay, I can put them in both the corners. Do I 
plan on playing Sky, Children of the Light again. I love Sky, but to me, that game is like more of a an off-stream activity. Does that make any sense? Um, I like streaming it, but I just have so many games that I want to stream right now. I could list off like 15 games that I keep saying I'm going to play on stream. So Sky to me feels more like a... I'm going to play on my own kind of not stream. It's not really a streamy game, you know? We streamed it for like the special events that they had going on, like the concert, but... I think most, for the most part, that game to me is like the kind of game that I want to play, like just hanging out, you know? Um, and that's okay. <laughs> you know, it's like, it's fun, but um, we've got enough that we're trying to worry about streaming, huh? Um, they had, I don't know if I want this over here or not. Wood rack. I'm gonna be honest, I don't really care to like, um, oh my god. I don't really care to like, nicely decorate their house. <laughs> I'm like, I'm more worried about me, you know? Like, I, I wanna just get through these like, tutorial tasks so that we can go do our own thing. That's kind of where I'm at right now. Um, okay, what else do you need? A washer plumbing system. Oh, cool! We could probably plumb this in nearby to this. Have I played Ooblets? Yeah, I played Ooblets when it was in early access before it came out, like, literally ages ago. Like, a couple years ago. I, I probably should play it again, because it's, it's actually out now, you know? Why can't I fit it on the- I have to unscrew the caps. I'm so silly forgot. Um, it's been a long time since I did this. I knew I had to do that, I just forgot. <laughs> okay. Laundry day. Anyway, I liked Blitz a lot when I played it last year. Or whenever. It might have been like two years ago, to be honest. And the list grows longer. The- oh. I've never played Slime Rancher. I hear a lot of good things about Slime Rancher, too. And the list grows longer. <laughs> we got so much to do. Um, okay. Let's see what else we've got. A crate. Um, can I put a couple of your crates? Oh, I should have put them on here. That's so cute. What else? A desk? Oh, guys, normally I would try harder with this, but I just want to get through it, to be honest. I would love Slime Rancher. Oh, God. Another game to play. A uh, desk lamp. Have you heard of Pop Tropica? Oh, my goodness. Do you know what, though? Honestly, though, I used to love Pop Tropica. I played that game so much back in the day. That was my game. I was obsessed. Oh, more tools. Oh, this is kind of cool. Pop Tropica was iconic, though. Oh, it's like a pegboard. They all snap. That's so cool. Hmm. I don't think I did that very well. It's another crate. Is this really what you wanted out of this job? I did it. <laughs> hey, Hissing, my friend, I love you so much. Thank you for the 19 months. And Bull, and Rosie, and Jesse, and Haylin, and Logan, and Mike, and Mark, thank you all so much. Um. Okay, bye Hope, have a good walk. I couldn't go on my walk this morning because it was absolutely downpouring, nightmarishly storming today. It was rough. Today was rough. Now it's fine. You would never know. But this morning, ooh, it was a lot. Very stormy, very stormy. Guys, you're starting to stress me out with these game questions, I'm not gonna lie. 
<laughs> There's a list of like 30 games I want to play. I've got so much going on right now. I've got a, a month long of charity streams already planned. We don't have a lot of room to, um, you know. <laughs> We don't have a lot of room to, to switch things up right now. <laughs> okay, should we maybe purchase a farm? House building. Decorated house, turtle house. Whoa. Hmm. What should we do then? I'm a little bit intimidated by all these options. I guess these are the farm ones, so. Um. We have 861,000. I'm not gonna do house on the moon. I wanna do the farm stuff. Do you wanna try one of these? How about this one? This one seems cute. It's got a little barn in the back as well. Oh, they moved to Paris and their farm fell into disrepair. Huh. Should we do it? Can it be painted blue? Oh yeah. Oh, I bought it. Oh my God, that's kind of scary. Hmm. <laughs> well, <laughs> hey, Amy, ugly, Jane, free no winter, love for all people's Mars. Thank you for the subs. One click buying a house. Okay, <laughs> well, it's happening. <laughs> Scott, thanks for the four months. This will be cute. We can like really do this one up. Oh my gosh. All right. Well, this, this is, uh, we've now moved past the, uh, garden hose. We've now moved past like the quest for other folks and we're now doing our own. We own this. We can do whatever we want. So no pressure. But, this is ours. This is our place. We make the call, if you will. I think I should make it blue. Okay. I'm nothing around here. Flamethrower it and just build a new one. Okay. That's a great idea. Easily a thousand IRL dollars for the hay on this property. Really? Oh, we're rich. That's great. <laughs> I'm leaving you for Sasha. That's okay, beam girl. Can I just give you a little uh, word of advice? I don't really care if people say stuff like that in my chat. Like it's not that deep to me. But that's one of those things that on Twitch is like considered kind of rude to say to a streamer. Um, say you know along the lines of like talking about like, oh, your stream's boring, so I'm gonna watch somebody else. Or like, you know, there's a lot of, there's a lot of little things that kind of like tend to hurt people's feelings. And I don't think that's working. The tend to hurt people's feelings on stream, um, you know, talking about like, oh, you've got less viewers today. Like that kind of thing is kind of rude. Um, so it's good to like know for the future to not really say stuff like that in other places. You can just say bye, you know? Um, but typically some people can get offended by stuff like that. I don't want you get, I don't want you to get banned anywhere for saying something like that. So, um, good to keep in mind, I suppose. Okay. I can't get up there. Oh my God. Let's just clear out all the trash first. Yeah. Cause there is a lot of it. They had like a pizza party in here or something. It's kind of fun. Kind of jealous. Oh, I can use my grappling hook to get up there. Ooh, I forgot that I have that now. That's kind of 
kind of fun. <laughs> we got options. Um... Oh, Blue Bell, I don't think they were being rude. They were being rude on purpose. I sometimes, when people say stuff like that, I, I always like to um, just mention it, almost like to remind them, because I would really hate if you guys got, like, God forbid, like, banned in another person's stream for, like, saying something that's considered rude on accident that you didn't realize, you know? Because um, some folks can be kind of, like, offended by stuff like that, as you can maybe imagine, I don't know. Um... I love that. Oh, whoa! <laughs> Did you guys see that? I can do anything. I'm so powerful. Yeah, that grappling hook is new. Oh, shoot. That came out in the, uh, this. I don't know. There are more spider webs all around here. Am I missing something over here? Go away. There we go. Okay. Oh. That's so useful. Oh my gosh. That is so useful. I can't believe that. I'm never gonna use those ladders again. I'm gonna be using only grappling hooks from now on. It, I feel like that saves so much time. Wow. All right. Um, I cleaned out the barn. Let's clean out, like, the trash from the inside of this building as well. And then we can start thinking about paint and stuff. I think I might start outside, because that's kind of what's most exciting to me right now. Oh my goodness. They weren't kidding when they left this, when they left this in disarray to go to Paris. They really did leave it in disarray to go to Paris. Um, we can sell some of these furniture pieces. Gives us a little bit of money back. Oh my goodness. We have to look around the floor plan. Look at the mini map up there. Doesn't that stress you out? <laughs> I don't even know how big this house is yet. I feel like we haven't even seen. It's okay, we'll get there. We'll get there. It'll be fine, chat. It'll be fine. Maybe I'll just, honestly, let's just delete these doors. Oh, I probably shouldn't have done that. Oh my god. Whoa, we can totally try and use this. That's so cool. Yeah, we'll have to get a new front door. This is gonna be so fun. Kitchen was over here. This is a mess. Put a gaming room up there? We could. That might be kind of fun. Okay. Your curtains are ugly too. Wow. Left dead plants and everything. All right, so we have like some sort of kitchen dining. This is like a weird hallway. Okay, we got the bathroom over here. Ooh. This is disgusting. <laughs> Did I dye my hair? No. People ask me that all the time. It doesn't, um, they're like, oh, your hair looks darker, your hair looks lighter, your hair looks red today. I think it's just like the lighting. It's just probably the sun coming in that's affecting what it looks like in different days and stuff. Cause I didn't do anything to my hair. Um, okay, we got a bedroom over here. There was a shower on the wall in the bathroom. I think it was like a mount or something. We'll come back to it. I mostly just want to get rid of all the big stuff that's like distracting me on the floor. And then once we've got that figured out, we can go from there. I'm thinking that, oh, we got another big bedroom over here. I'm thinking that I want to make the upstairs into a real bedroom. That might be kind of fun. 
Yeah, without the mess on the floor, we've got a way clearer picture of like what this place actually looks like, you know? So the front door was like right there, wasn't it? Um, garage door. I just need doors. Roof, stairs, walls, windows, doors. These ones have pet entrances. That's kind of cute. Oh, I like this. Oh, that's an interior door. This one feels kind of like farmy. We can always switch it up. Oh, it doesn't center that well. But for now, I think it'd be nice to have a real door. And then we can change it. Okay. Um... Can you install a staircase? That's what I'm- that's what I'm trying to think about, because I haven't really done that sort of thing yet. But, ugh, let me- okay. Let me up. We need to... clear up a lot of this. But like, look how much space is up here. You know? So this could be like some sort of lofted... I don't know. Maybe we could have like a lofted secondary living space up here. There could be multiple rooms up here to be honest. It's quite large. Just gotta figure out how to do it. It is gross. We can put a window. We got options. Okay. How much trash is up here? It's unbelievable. Like, actually unbelievable. Okay. Loft library. Interesting concept, to be honest. Um, sell this. Okay. We don't want to spend too much money on this renovation either, but I guess it doesn't matter because we can do whatever we want, huh? We'll get the money back. You're scared someone died up here? You know, I'm a little bit alarmed by all the red as well. I wasn't gonna say anything. I was kind of hoping that it was paint. It, I mean, it, it sweeps right up. Does that help? Is that a relief to you at all? <laughs> it's like ketchup or something, probably. It's fine. Don't worry about it. It's fine. Oh. Oh, these are so cute. These little dormer windows. Huh. I think that I would like to make some adjustments of the windows on the outside. So I'm almost wondering if I should do that first and then like come back to this. I don't really know. Any more dirt I'm missing? Looks like a lot of dirt. Around. I can, I'm looking at the mini map to do this, by the way. In case that wasn't clear. I can actually ride my horse. I haven't bought, I haven't gotten one yet. But yeah, I feel like once we pick out, um, once we pick out some new windows on the outside, it'll be easier to tell what we want to do on the inside. Oh, so gross. <laughs> but that'll help us with the floor plan, I think. Like, what does the outside look like? See, this... To be completely honest with you, this is ugly. So... We need to build a new door. 
I need to move that as well. It just, it needs help. I do kind of like this like ranch sort of vibe, but we could like, what if we did something like this? Still got like a nice door, but. Okay, and that lines up with the front a little better. Oh my God, this is so ugly. Oh, that's a side door. No, it's not. Is that the front door? They have like those white little dormer windows upstairs. So we can try and match that basically. Hmm. Maybe you can change where the front door is. I don't want to have to redo this path. To be honest, I kind of, I like the path. Maybe we can like open this up a little bit. And then we could try and have like the living room and some stairs over there or something. Can I plant a tree? I literally haven't played this game in so long. I'm so pantry. Oh my God. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> that was amazing. Plants. Um. How big are you? Oh, not very. We gotta do something about this. I need these to go away too. I actually cannot deal with that. Okay. Um, should we just paint the house first? I think I'm getting a little bit overwhelmed by like, the outdoor situation. Outside wide beige, outside wide gray. Yellow. Blue! Oh, blue suburban, okay. That is what I wanted. Yes. So improved right now. Are you kidding? That is beautiful. I feel so much more at home just with this. Ooh. That's gonna be kind of annoying to place. <laughs> it's kind of a nice color. Right? Yeah, that's really nice. Love. Um, the front of this really could use some work. Got to grab a ladder or a scaffold then? Yeah, I will. I'm gonna go around and do the first floor stuff, I think, first. Um, love a little blue farmhouse. Adorable. I just got to stream and she's making it blue. Okay, it's kind of a meme at this point, but it, it is funny. Right? At least a little bit. I like this side of the house more. But 
maybe a shade on top of the front door would be nice. Do we even have that? That's why I'm thinking it needs like some something substantial out there. But do we even have like something that I can put? I don't think I've unlocked any roofing abilities yet. So I don't know. I'm not sure. Is the weather in this game? Yeah, it's raining right now in the game. There is indeed weather in this game. Could put the front door on that side. Yeah, but the problem is I am exceptionally bad at landscaping in this game. So if I were to like move the front door to a different place and try to redo the path, it would be horrendous. Like you, you would hate me. So. I don't know. It's practice. Yeah, you say that, but the last time I did it, I got so frustrated that I stopped playing. <laughs> The last time I was like, I ruined everything. I don't want to do it anymore. So. A little bit unsure about that, to be honest. I did, I flamethrower, I used a flamethrower on the entire yard. And then it caused me some issues. So. I mean, I think you can understand how that might have happened. Need more. Okay. There we go. Um... Oh, stop. No. Okay, I might need to get some scaffolding. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> Can I talk about the Able Gamers Gala? Yeah, great question. Um, basically, Able Gamers is hosting, uh, you know how a lot of charities will do like, you know, gala type events, right? Sort of common. Um, Able Gamers is hosting, oh, hold on. Able Gamers this weekend is hosting a virtual, I can't, I can't. They're hosting a virtual gala this weekend. Um, like as a fundraising event, I can't get up. I don't get it. I don't get it. Okay. <sighs> okay. I got there. Anyway, Able Gamers is hosting a virtual gala this weekend <laughs> as a fundraising event. They're essentially having um, this really cool, like, virtual fancy party, um, but they're doing it on this platform where they. So Steve described it to me as like Zoom meets Stardew Valley because it kind of has that sort of graphics. Um, and you're like basically in the big room and you can talk to people like with proximity chat and like like chat with folks uh, in, in like the chatting hours and stuff um, and like hang out as if you're like at a real party except it's you know obviously it's virtual um, and and so you can like buy a ticket for it and then attend they're gonna have um, a lot of it is like a social hour like chatting with people I'll be there obviously um, and then they're also gonna have like some live entertainment. They've got like all this stuff planned. It's actually really cool. Um, and and they're also, so they're selling tickets for it and they're also selling these like gala in a box things where you can get some like cool items. Um, they actually have one that's like a, it's kind of expensive, but it's a really good deal for like all of the Logitech stuff that comes in it. So it's worth looking into. It has like a microphone, a keyboard, a mouse, a webcam, like it literally is like a stacked box of stuff. 
Um, it's like fancy. Um, but no desert, you can't participate without a ticket. The whole point is that they're like selling tickets because it's a charity event, like it's a fundraiser. So it's like a ticketed event as a fundraiser. Um, I know that kind of stinks, but the, the intention is that um, people would buy a ticket so that they can support able gamers, you know? Um, but it's gonna be kind of cool. I think it's a really interesting idea. Um, I feel like it's gonna be awesome. So I'm I'm really excited about it. Um, I, I, I hope to see a lot of you there if you're um, planning on going. So um, the live entertainment's me and Steve playing truck simulator. No, they've got way more interesting stuff planned than that, I swear. <laughs> but it's a really interesting idea, I think. Um, and I'm just, I'm just really excited about it. So I think it'll be really cool. Done before with work. Yeah, some of my friends were saying they've used the same uh, platform before for work events. And I feel like it makes a lot of sense for like this purpose. Um, I don't know, it's just awesome. So um, it's gonna be pretty fun to, to get to do it for this charity thing, I think. Okay, guys, does anyone know what that thingy is called? The scaffolding thingy that's like this one. I got it. Wait, can I get a pink one? <gasps> wow. Wow. Purple. This is very large. Okay. <laughs> Oops. No, no, sorry. I'm, oh God, I suck. There's a dirty room inside. I appear to have missed a big room inside, yes. That, w it would look like that, yes. Oh. Oh yeah. Sure did. Sure did miss a whole entire room. Okay. <laughs> okay. Lovely. <laughs> Just a lovely, lovely room. Nothing disgusting in here at all. Everything's fine. Yeah, I deleted all the windows into that, didn't I? Um, Okay, so I've now painted the front of the house. We gotta think about like, where we wanna, how much of this layout do we wanna redo? Probably not like all of it, you know? Like I kinda like the layout a little bit. Um, but we could probably adjust a little. I'm wondering, here's kind of an idea that I'm having right now. Okay, this was previously the kitchen and they didn't really have a living room sort of space before. Um, I'm wondering, what if we made this into the kitchen? Can we get like a bigger fake archway maybe or something? What if it was like, you know, open like this. We make ourselves a little arch. It needs to go all the way to the edge. And then we use this room at the front as the kitchen. We can try and make it kind of pretty. Yeah, so we could have this room here at the front as the kitchen. And then we can put like, cabinets along these walls. I might have to build out, actually I might put a couple walls back. So I've got more space for them, but um, need a spot for the stairs. Yeah, I'm gonna put the stairs on this side, I think. Um, Cause there's a little bit more space next to this door. So if we move this over, I'm hoping I can get the stairs like kind of where this wall is. 
I don't know. We'll see. This is wild. What happened to that wall? I smashed it. <laughs> hey, Leah, thanks for the, for the fits. Ah, uh, I'm gonna be at Taylor Swift's concert in Chicago on the second night, on the on June 3rd, not the first night. I'm so sorry. Also, Witch and Kat and Jeff Berry, thank you for the subs, everybody. Yeah, so I'm thinking we could try and scoot this back a little bit. You know? Just a smidge? I don't know. I don't know how to put stairs. I've never done that before. Stairs. L-shaped staircase. Wow. Um. Do you know what? Here's an idea. Okay, hear me out. I'm wondering if we could place that. Okay, I'm gonna need to like, oh, do you know what? Guys, this might be kind of good. Can I get rid of you? I'm wondering, I don't know what this looks like upstairs. I might have to move it to be farther away. Oh. Can I not get up those stairs? Oh, cause there's a wall in the, <laughs> hold on. That explains a lot. Yeah, I need some more space at the landing. So I just move them back a little bit. But if we could put them like this, and then maybe we could have like some sort of entrance into this room in the front of the stairs. I don't know. I don't know. Ash, thanks for the 26 months. Okay. So, maybe I could build out some of these walls just so I know how close I want to put in. I'm gonna scoot it back a little bit more, basically. Dawson, Moobot didn't get mad at you. Moobot's a bot. It's just chat messages on a timer, okay? I don't want that. Ooh. Let's build three walls at once is the next perk. Okay. Um. Ooh. Why, I can't see where I'm putting this. Is that right? That's what I wanted. I like that. Okay, and then you can come up these stairs. There's a little bit more space as like a landing. Right? And we can build some walls out in here. And this will be like a small bedroom sort of space. The difference between a mod and a bot? Well, mods are humans and bot, it means like robot, right? So when I talk about the mods, that like Mrs. Tomato, her name is Christine. She's a real life person. <laughs> uh, the bot, Moobot, is just a, a website that I said, hey, when someone types exclamation point YouTube, can you put a link to my YouTube channel, please? <laughs> um, so it's just typing stuff that we've like, you know, basically told it to. Does that make any sense? Um, will a door fit here or are the doors wider than that? I'm not sure. I am not sure. I don't know how big I want this to be. There's some three wall doors. Okay, so we can get a skinny one. That could be a closet. Oh, it would be kind of a cute closet, wouldn't it? I don't know how big I want this to be. All I know is I like this. I think this is cool. 
Well, it doesn't have to be. We don't need to have a door there. We could keep the door over here. And that would be fine. Because I was going to have this room be like... I mean, this could be a closet. This little tiny space, but... Did I set up your bots yourself or do you want to do it for you? I don't- I didn't like program a bot, Olus. I, I just use it. There's like Twitch bots that exist and you just log into your Twitch account in the bot and then, you know, set it up. Um, so I- I, I didn't like make my own bot, you know? <laughs> um, but, uh, there's like Twitch bots that exist basically that a lot of folks use. Okay. Um, shall we, like, yeah, and then I, I pick the commands myself, obviously, I write, I tell the bot what to say, but I didn't, like, make a custom, I don't think we, this is gonna be a bedroom, you guys, I don't want to make this into, like, a bathroom or something, this is a nice big space that'll make for a good bedroom, I think. Um, I don't know where to put it. How many bedrooms are there? Um, well, it's this one. I'm a little bit confused by my own layout, so hold on. <laughs> uh, it's like this little bedroom area that I've just built and demolished like three times. Oh, the closet looking space? Oh, I think it's okay if there's a little too, like this little bump out, we can make it into a closet. It'll be too small to be a bathroom, but it can be a closet. And then there's this bedroom. Um, I think one problem that I'm facing is that it feels like this is all, should I just make it open? Why I'm building a real small chain again? I'm just not, there's not like a logistic behind it, Angela. It's, this is me being indecisive is why I built and demolished it again. <laughs> there's no game purpose for that. There's just my brain. Yes, open it. Okay. I want to keep like the older house vibe. But, I do think that opening this all up might help us. So we have like this bathroom. And then this side of the house will be like a big kitchen and living room space. You know? White windows? Yeah, we're gonna switch the windows. I haven't done it yet. It's very time consuming doing these house slipper builds. Open it with lentils instead of walls so the game considers it a separate room. Yeah, I'm gonna, let me just, how about this? Let's demolish all the walls and then rethink it. Yeah. I don't know. But you guys, we have like, we're gonna do this. We're gonna figure out a floor plan. We're gonna paint the walls. We're gonna plumb the bathroom. We're gonna furnish the house. I mean, like, it's not a quick task. There's a lot that goes into these house slipper things. I worry the house is not structurally sound with the rate you're destroying walls. Well, I can't imagine the problem. I'm sure it'll be fine. Let's get faster demolition. At least we're leveling up our skills. We're getting faster at demolishing by doing all this. We've got hidden beams. Yeah, 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 it's fine. Maybe we could build like a proper little entryway of sorts. How about this? And we could put like some tile on the floor and have like a little custom entry. That might be kind of cute. So that helps to separate some of the space a little. 
Okay. I think I just don't love how much hallway there is. This bathroom is quite big as it is. But... I think that helps. There could be like a little side table. Yeah, exactly. Um... Go away. Go away. Go away. Go away. We need a kitchen, living, and dining room. All in this area. And we'll do some more windows again, don't worry. <laughs> I'm gonna have to rebuild them. Um... I don't know where the door is gonna go yet. But I was gonna have the walls out like that over here. Where's the barn? Oh, um... Is it over here? The barn's somewhere on the side of the building. There. I haven't painted it yet. There is a barn though. I'm serious. You can't make this stuff up. I would never lie about a barn. Yeah, I think that the- I was intending to put the kitchen in this little blue floor area originally. Um... Shall we, like... Here's what I'm wondering. Should we... Like, give ourselves... More hall... Way. Again. No, I didn't build this house with the new build tools. I, um, I'm just decorating at the moment. I, I think I, I like the idea of a hallway a little bit just because I like the, um, I don't know. I think that I like the realism of like an older, slightly more divided house. You know? I think that it fits the style of the house quite well. Um... So... Will the kitchen just be in here again? Probably. I just want, like, a... How many wide is that? One, two, three, four, five. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. All right. This might work. Yeah, more interior walls means more space for decor, exactly. Um. I feel like this, being behind the stairs, is so inconvenient. There's like a lot of hallway happening. And I'm not obsessed with that. Um... I like those archways. So we have this nice big room. I'll probably do, like, I was kind of envisioning, like, a big open space in between them. Maybe. Kind of like this. I'm also wondering if we could go back to having the door by the front door like we talked about originally. And then making, cause this is like a lot of hallway. We could probably move where this doorway is over a little bit.
like the doorway could be there instead. And we can make this into an ensuite bathroom. This part, I mean, right here. Like, imagine if there was wall, wall. This would get filled in. I don't know. And then this would be where the door goes. What do you think? Another bathroom, even if small. Oops. That might be nice. So there's a doorway there and a doorway there. Feels a little bit more logical for the layout. Maybe a powder room. I mean, we have a bathroom right here, so. No, it auto saves. Don't worry, Cheshire, don't worry. Also, Eunice and Maddie and uh, who else? Baby, Naz, Cougar, Dr. Maud, Ask, Ash. Thank you all so much. Um, I like that. I think that that kind of makes sense as well. I guess we could have put a door to this bathroom over here. One, two, three, four. There'll just be a door right here. This could always, we could always make this into an office instead of a, a bathroom. Can I make it bigger? Hold on. Oh my God, I, I've built and demolished this wall like three times. What's a powder room? Um, a powder room is a term for like a bathroom that is only a, a toilet and a sink. Like there isn't a shower or anything in there. It's kind of a fancy sounding term, isn't it? But that's what they're talking about when they say that. You might hear like half bathroom used sometimes means the same thing. Um, okay. There we go. So that's a lovely little office. And then over here, Should I put the one, two, three, four? Unless I should put it right in the edge. Oh my God. Yeah, WC means water closet. That means the same thing too. Different places and even like different regional people will have different words for the same thing, you know? I like that. Then it gives us kind of a corner to put like a bookshelf or something, which I think would be kind of nice. Okay. We did it. So we have a lovely bedroom, a little bathroom, another little bathroom. Mm. Should I have made this into an ensuite bathroom? Oh my God, I'm sorry. I might. I might do it instead. Oh my God. I'm, I don't know. Demolishing and rebuilding walls is exciting, isn't it? You like it, don't you? <laughs> right, chat? <laughs> it's fun, right? The number of times I've done this. <laughs> it's fun, right? Also expensive. Yeah, I'm wasting a lot of money. I don't care. It's This is a creative outlet for me, okay? All right, that's nice though. And then it makes more sense. This is a very extreme renovation right now. Okay, so we have a lovely little hallway here. I guess, oh, now that I've made this whole thing into a hallway, I could probably like delete this. 
Is this what renovating your house was like? Yeah, in real life, it was a lot of like, oh, I'm just gonna like take a sledgehammer to this and see what happens. Yeah, it was exactly like that. Yeah. Mm hmm. <laughs> just like this. Okay, this can be the living room. This is the kitchen. There could be like a dining table here, living table. Living table, living room here. And then upstairs. I'm not really sure how to go about this with like the, the roof like that. I don't know. It could be like a, another hangout space or something. I'm gonna worry about that later. I'm gonna do down here first. Down here is more exciting to me personally. Okay. Let's buy a new window. Oh, I've got more points. Faster building. Um, I want like a little skinny window like we had before. These are so cute. Oh my gosh. Oh, that's really big. Frame, inside frame, let's do, let's actually keep it the coarse dark oak. Cause that makes life easy for us. Okay, this is a little bit different than how it was before, but who cares what it looks like from the outside? Look how nice that is. Ooh, that's cool. OMG, growing together. <laughs> All right, that's nice though, right? Shall we do the bathroom first? I think so. Walls, floors, floors and ceilings. Oh, sorry. We want some like tile that looks kind of farmy. Honestly, just like some subway tile might be kind of fun. Oh, the brick is kind of fun though. I don't know. There's a lot of options. Ooh. Mosaic. Did you just see neon green floors? Yeah, probably. Oh, these are cute. Do you like these little turquoise ones? Or I don't know what kind of wall we want to use. Should we pick the walls first and then come back? I'm sorry, you guys, we're going to be here all day. Wall tiles. I do kind of like the tile concept that they have. Um, is this just like a subway tile? Yeah, that's like kind of plain, but it makes sense. Unless we want to do something more exciting. I don't know. You like it? I think a decent subway tile is like a nice basic, but super useful It just makes sense. I don't know. I like what they had before, but it's a little, it's a little ugly. Maybe we can pick a more exciting floor or a more patterned floor at least. Listen, we pick a basic wallpaper, then everything's going to be easy. This way when we decorate, it'll be like really easy for us to do it as well. So that'll probably be good to be honest. Am I out? Oh, no, just a little bit more. Today's your birthday. Hey, happy birthday. Yeah, we could do a more exciting 
uh, tile situation on the ensuite bathroom. That could be kind of cool. Oh yeah, I'm not gonna keep these floor tiles, you guys. Don't worry. Um, that's not the plan. <laughs> the floor tiles that we grabbed were just an, an example of something I was trying, but... Um, okay. Back, back, floor and ceiling. We need like a big white tile. This is just a big white... Oh! No, it needs to have like a dark grout. Oh no. The grout and what we have is a lot. Shay, Cowboy Mater, thank you for the subs. Uh oh. What do you think about this? I'm wasting a lot of money. I uh, see, that's like too gray. No. Black tile? I guess we could do an all black floor tile. Oh, here we go. This might work. This is very, I mean, these are very big tiles, aren't they? Mm. Need some color? Well, we haven't put anything in here yet, so. <laughs> Bear with us, okay? This one's a little bit smaller. That actually fits the room better. I might, maybe I will do a black tile. Here's a gray mosaic hexagon. Feels like there's a lot going on. I think I like the other one better. Like this one. Rustic wood floor. You think wood floor everywhere? I was gonna put wood floor in the, or like everywhere else, but I was more thinking like, um, I was more thinking, I don't know what floor to use. Ooh, that is very rustic. I was more thinking that we would do like, um, tile in the bathroom because the idea of having like beautiful wood floor and then stepping out of the bathtub on top of it is like kind of breaks my heart what do you look like why are none of these things literally none of these things will look like the color i picked but maybe we could use this I kind of like this. This looks like rustic, huh? What do you guys think? I think that's pretty. Um, I will do, oh, I haven't, I got a lot to fix in here. Wish it was a little darker, but it's a nice texture. Yeah, I don't think we'll be able to get it much darker though. I like how this one looks. Um, I'll have to redo the windows as well. There's always the possibility of using like this kind of floor tile as well in the bathroom, I don't know. A little bit different. I like that. We're gonna redo the windows. Don't worry. I gotta go to the office as well. Okay. That's nice. It's nice to have everything like painted the same color. If the hexagons were just a teeny bit bigger, they'd look perfect. I don't know if there is a bigger hexagon version of the floor tiles. I think we had the big ones. Ooh. There is a bigger version. I think the problem that I was having too was that um, I didn't like how busy it looked. 
That one's better, because it's not as busy on the floor. That's a lot bigger. <laughs> um, I want to get a ceiling light. Um, let's see. Um, sorry, lights. Ceiling lamps. Maybe just something simple like this. I don't know how to center it. <laughs> I don't know how to do it. I need a light switch too. Um, oh, they have so many options of light switches. Oh my goodness. There we go. That's nice. It's simple. Okay. So we have a couple things plumbed in here. What is that? Bathtub plumbing, towel radiator, radiator sink. I might need to plumb for a toilet myself. Um, if I bought a bathtub, it would go like horizontally, right? Windows not centered? No, it won't be. It doesn't center. That happens in real life all the time. This window's not centered in the room. Think of it being like how it works on the outside. Um, bathroom fixtures. Ooh. We've got a kind of lovely sink cabinet. Farmhouse tub. I'm kind of thinking the same thing. It's amazing the little things you have to do in House Flipper. <laughs> I'm making a sink! Oh, I like that. That's cute. I'm a plumber. Oh, look how beautiful this is. Oh, it does have to go this way. Um... That's gonna be in front of the window. I might have to delete this, we'll just see. A lot easier than IRL. You know, I, I bet. Why does that look so small? I don't think I like that. I think I wanna do just a tub. Oh my gosh. This is like a claw foot tub again, but maybe a little bit less like, maybe I can mount it over here. Okay, we need like the mounting kit. Um, bathroom fixtures. Um, oh no, sorry. How do you? That one was a lot bigger. I don't know how to get the... It's in the second build mode section. Can just put a shower in the little bathroom. Well, I was only gonna do a tub instead. Installations. There we go. Four assembly. Bathtub plumbing system. I would like it to be on this wall, I think. What am I doing wrong? I didn't unscrew the cap. I did this last time too. I know that I need to. I just forgot. I think that's stupid. <laughs> 
It's so easy to forget that you need to unscrew it. And then I sit there like, why can't I? Why isn't it working? Oh, because you didn't unscrew it again? Every time. I know that I need to. I just don't think about it. Okay. There we go. Oh, that's a different shade of gold. Ugh, that's gonna bother me a lot. No, I'm not gonna put a shower, just a bathtub in here, Lucy. We can do a shower in the other bathroom instead. I might move the sink to somewhere else. Yeah, the sink is brass, but there's not really like a... Oh, there is, Never mind. False alarm. Everything's fine. I wish that I could just buy that for a second, have it ready, but no. Installations. Electrical outlets. Oh my goodness. Mm. I would like to have a doorbell. <laughs> Toilet, bathtub, washer, sink, plumbing system. Okay, unscrew. There we go. Off. Bye now. No, 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 not you. I want this in a nice wood color with gold. Double sink? Oh, I didn't really think about that, I guess. We could. Is there like a... They have a sink left, sink right. Do I need to put the plumbing in again? Um... At least you don't need to be too precise about the plumbing location. Bathroom fixtures. Sink right. Gold. There we go. I was being weird. Okay, this will be cute. What's the point of a double sink? Um, it's really nice if like two people are living together and sharing a bathroom, and you're both getting ready for bed at the same time, and you're not standing on top of each other trying to use the sinks. Um, so a lot of like, you know, a lot of times, in, especially in newer builds, they'll put like two sinks in the primary bathroom. Um, if there's space for it. Because it's a nice feature for folks that live together. Um, do you need it? No. <laughs> Is it useful? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, my house has two sinks in the bathroom. I My bathroom attached to my bedroom is really big though. Um, so like there's two sinks in there because otherwise like what else are you gonna put in there? Um, but the other bathrooms in the house don't have two sinks, just this one. But anyway, rather have more countertop space than two sinks. That makes sense, I guess. At least it comes with some extra countertop space when you've got two sinks. It's all, yeah, I guess it would also be nice if you've got like siblings. If like, if growing up we had had, we didn't, but if we had had two sinks in the bathroom my siblings and I shared, that would have been so useful like in the mornings because you're all trying to get ready at the same time. Like that kind of thing. Um, and then there's more storage underneath the cabinet, isn't there? Because there's another one, but. Um, it's just a nice thing to have some extra space, isn't it? Um. Having two sinks would have stopped so many sibling fights. Oh my goodness. I bet it would have. Um, I was lucky that I was a little bit older than my siblings, though. The two of them had more problems than I did with them. Because they were, like, going to school at the same time. My school was always at a different time than theirs, because I was older than them, so. Um, mm, I need a toilet. Should I put the toilet, like, should I put it next to the sink? Like, over here? I guess I am. You don't need unscrewed? Okay. 
Bathroom fixtures, toilets. Oh my. I can get a cool gold one. That looks fun. I don't know. This seems fancy. School starting at different times is so weird to you. Well, um, where I live, uh, and I think a lot of places are like this, um, they have the schools kind of staggered because they use the same buses to get everyone to all the schools. So like high school is first, it's earliest in the morning. The buses will come and pick you up at like six in the morning. Um, and then it's elementary school at like eight. So high school starts at like 7.15, elementary at like 8.15, middle school at like nine. So they kind of stagger them a little bit so that way they can use the same buses for everybody. So that's why. Um, so not all the schools don't start at the same time here. But yeah, high school starts really early. <laughs> You didn't get bus for high school? Yeah, they had, um, if you needed a bus and you were like routed to the school, they would come pick you up. So. That's, that's a useful thing, I guess. I kind of want it closer to the, I think, like there. Yeah, let's try that. Yeah, elementary before middle school, I assume that that has to do with like, uh, like the parents of elementary aged kids needing them to be at school so they can go to work. Whereas the middle school kids could probably be on their own in the morning if the parents need to be gone. And then high school, like a lot of the kids have jobs after school and stuff. So then if they start earlier, they get out earlier. So it actually has to do with sleep. I don't know. <laughs> I'm not sure that the, the high schoolers having to be at school at like seven in the morning it has to do with their sleep too much. Um, but anyway, I think that that's why I assume that it has to do with, um, the elementary kids, but about sports at letting out at 9 PM. Yeah. My school started the, the first bell rang at 7.05. They were up early <laughs> for high school. Um, it was really, really early. Um, that part sucked going to school when it's like still dark outside and stuff, you know? Ugh. We'd be like in our first class, it's dark outside. I hated that. It was so hard for me to like focus in my earliest morning class when it was like dark out. We finished high school at like 2.30. Um, so that, that was good. We got out really early, but we also started really early. I would have rather gotten out later and started later though <laughs> than seven. That was rough. Um, <laughs> That was rough. Yours is 8.15 to 2.25. How come mine started so early? You love starting at seven? Really? Yeah, I, I mean, I think I would probably like that better now. Cause I like having like time in the afternoon, but um, I don't know. It was very hard for me at the time. Uh, I want to get a mirror. Ooh, these are kind of fancy. Um, 850 to 250, that's so nice. It's so interesting how different it can be in different places, huh? Shall we use this wood mirror? I like that, I think that's nice. That is a lovely bathroom, chat. Okay, let's get paint in this room. Why is your school so long? I don't know, it's really interesting thinking about how different it is in different places. No towel rail? No, I'm gonna come back and give them some decorations later. I need to make sure we focus on like, making sure these rooms are actually done. <laughs> Cause I haven't done anything yet. Um, we need like a light switch in here, you know, we don't have any of that stuff that we need yet. I mean, it's got lights. They just wouldn't be my first pick. We can pick a new window too. They had some really beautiful big ones. Um, 
What color did I use? The cool ash? Ooh. That's nice. See? That is a- was that every day, Hope? That feels like a lot. I used to hate in middle school, I used to not get home until like 4.45 after school. And I used to hate that. That felt like really late to me to get home from school because our school would get out. I think that the school ended at 3.55. And then I would like get the bus home and then not get home for a long time. Um, and I used to hate that, how I would get out so like, it's not like that late, but it felt really late to me when I was young, <laughs> you know? Um, 4.45 was rough, but. I was also the last bus stop though, which didn't help. Um, you were out of three? Really? Yeah, I mean, I guess it has to do again with like, um, them using different, uh, the different buses and staggering it, huh? Okay, let's paint the walls. I wonder actually if there's any cute wallpaper we could use. Eco light brown panels wallpaper. This seems cute. I don't know how the bathroom tiles in here. I'm gonna be honest, I'm not really sure about that. Oh, it's a different color wood, but it is kind of cute, huh? What do you guys think about that? Uh, it's a different color wood. Maybe not. Um, is there like a white paneling with some pretty wallpaper? I like wallpaper. I do like wallpaper. No, that's... Let's just pick a... That one has some pretty painted flowers. I don't know. Keeping the wood ceilings? I'm not sure, I kinda like the wood ceilings. Oh, how about these checkered ones? Do you wanna do like a checkered dark green? We could get like a really dark green. Hold on. Oh. Is it good or not? Maybe for an accent? Yeah, we could just do it on that wall and then we could have regular paint on the other walls. A pastel checkered vibe? You guys are boring. We don't have, are the lights off in here again? Oh, I don't have a ceiling light. You'll change your mind once I have a ceiling light. How about that? I just need a light first. <laughs> I don't currently have one. That's not helping. Everyone thinks it's horrible, but it's because you can't see. It's giving grandma. That's kind of what I'm going for though. They have this like rustic house. So that's kind of what I was hoping to accomplish. Um, is that centered? Uh, you're gonna have to just accept that. I'm sorry, but you're just gonna have to like it. This screams Christmas. Why are you guys complaining about that? You're boring. I'm gonna make it worse. Oh my goodness. Um, let's see. Oh my god, there's so many colors of walls. I don't even know where to begin. Oh my goodness, they really have a lot of options now, don't they? Don't say Christmas, there's a Christmas pack and she will lean into it despite you all. <laughs> You're not wrong. <laughs> hey, Super Sparkly Raven, thank you for the subs. 
You think the flooring is making it seem like it's clashing? Well, we haven't painted the other walls yet, so how about you guys hold on, okay? You think beige for cozy? Light biscuit. I don't really agree with this choice, but... It's a severe accent wall. You're not feeling the pattern, but you like the color. I kind of like the pattern. I think it's kind of silly. So I think I'm gonna keep it. Um. Oh, and they have the ensuite bathroom too. And we gotta put their door in. I like the color of this, I think. It's a little bit cozier than the like stark white. Not the American suburban beige. Yeah, don't get me wrong, I hate this. If there's one thing about Florida houses, it's that they love a beige. It's horrendous. They'll build these houses in Florida and then it's beige everything. Even beige floor tile in the entire house. Like picture like a big square beige tile in the entire house. The whole floor, even the bedrooms are a beige square tile. That's how I grew up. So this is feel at home. This uh, beige wall right here just feels right. Why can't I paint that? Why are you doing this? I hate that though. I hate, I hate the everything beige. Beige walls, beige tile, beige, beige, beige. Ugh. I hate tile throughout too. I, I know that like, I don't like this with the green wall. Describing your house too? Yeah. Yeah. I don't know, I just don't like the beige everywhere. Oh, these are kind of cute. Should we use these doors? Yeah, I kind of like that. All gray is even worse than all beige. Do you know what? I don't agree. I don't I don't love an all gray. I'm I'm with you. I, I don't love these uh the the new vibes where everyone makes everything gray everywhere, but I I think an all beige is worse. For me personally. I just hate it. I hate a beige. I hate a beige. Oh, that's wrong. I think for me, it's like, I want to have like a, a sort of warmer floor, like a, like, you know, like a wood beige, but wood floor. I did it again. And then, um, I'd love to have like, you know, a cooler tone on the walls. Like we need to like mix and match a little bit. The all gray is very new construction though these days, isn't it? Um. You're living in a very colored house and now you kind of hate colors in a door beige. That's really interesting. I love color in a house though. I got like green kitchen cabinets. I just, <laughs> I just bought a green chair. I painted that wall pink. It's kind of hard to see from this angle, but. Um, yeah, I think the all gray trend is kind of on its way out these days. Oh, I got a pink, pink room. Yeah. My guest room is pink, pink. Um, I don't know how to paint that wall. I do like that window a lot better though, huh? Isn't that nice? No, I don't think I can paint it from the outside. Do I need to kill the window and then... I don't know. I don't get it. Should 
Should we just ignore it? <laughs> We're probably not gonna finish this today anyway. <laughs> Should we just ignore it? And pretend that it's fine? How about that? That can be a problem for us in the future. Now, why did my light just turn off? <laughs> now, why does that happen? Okay, I turned it back on. Uh, that's probably Dan. He doesn't, he probably didn't do it on purpose. He probably turned his own lights off and then... Cause they're all connected to the Wi-Fi. I turned them all off. Paint the ceiling. I kind of want to keep the wood. To be honest. I kind of like it. I don't know. Did we find the cow? They never gave us a cow update. I also don't know how to buy a horse. Should I try right now? Hold on, let me see if I can go home. Back to the office. What cow? The first um, task that we did, they were like, my cow's missing. Can you renovate my barn while I go look for it? And then I never saw their cow again. I don't know. I don't know. Change the texture of the wood from the ceiling. It looks rotten. <laughs> oh boy, that's an aggressive term. Um, horses. Whoa! Which one should I get? Hold on. This one's neat and lazy. Dirty, energetic, dirty, energetic. Stubborn, energetic, neat. Stubborn, dirty, lazy. Neat, stubborn, energetic. Lazy, stubborn. It's lazy, neat, stubborn. I think the first one had good traits. No, it was lazy. We can get dirty and energetic. No, actually, let's get neat and lazy. This one seems cute. What do I name it? Hope. Now what? <gasps> it's just in the front yard. No way. No way. Why can you do everything in this game? Do they, if I bought like some of the horse stuff, I could jump over it? Recreation, animals, no. How do I find a horse? Oh my God. I want the jump things. What is it called? Do you know where to find it? Obstacle. That's a good word. Sing how about a single vertical obstacle? I'll make it purple. Okay, come here. Come here. Wait, I'll pet it first. How is this real? Okay. <gasps> oh my God, did you see that? Okay, I'm going around. Next time we play, I'm gonna have to finish building this house and then move into it. <sighs> Can I take the horse with me to jobs? I don't know. Probably. 
I feel like I'm not that good at controlling it. Give treat? Okay. Give treat. Oh no, I didn't mean to tell you to move. Come back! Come back! Follow me. Come here. Come here. Do you think if I go back to the... Hold on. Do you think if I go back to my house, I can, um... I have, I have so many unfinished versions of this. Do you think it'll come with me? Need a bigger house? Yeah, I'm gonna move into this one soon. And life will be good. I'll have a barn and everything. We'll see. <laughs> I can't believe that. That's actually pretty cool. Why did they add it? You know, doesn't it seem like such a random addition to the game? Like, why do we have this now? I like it, but why? <laughs> also, Teresa, Melina, AG, and Super, and Sparkly, and Raven, thank you for the subs. Why not, I guess, yeah. Oh, I didn't finish painting that yet. That's okay. Hold on. I'm returning home. Cute. Oh, I didn't finish buying all my doors. Oh, gotta put this back too. I like the layout that we did. I'll say that. I think that this layout's quite nice. Maybe we could do, how about this? What if we got like a cool wallpaper for the entry? And then we did like tile on the floor in this entry room because we kind of liked the idea of, um, oh, I hate how that cuts off. We kind of liked the idea of using this, but I thought it kind of clashed with the wood. So I wonder if we could use this and then put like a brick floor or something. I like this wallpaper. I think it's cute. There is a house slipper two coming out. I'm pretty excited about it, to be honest. I'll definitely play it. Um... Shall I paint the ceiling? How far should the paneling go? Like there? I don't know. Um, floor and ceiling. How do you, what kind of paint do I need for the ceiling? I don't know. We also just need like some tile. I want like a fun, I was honestly thinking like this for the entry. I don't know if this color is that good, but I was thinking like a kind of rustic-y brick-like stone color. Mm, I wish that I hadn't put it there. So, I don't know. Should be turned 90 degrees, you feel? I don't know if I can do that. I don't think it lets you rotate it. It's too orange though. Even if we liked it, it's too orange. I want something kind of stone-like like that. Oh, here's a brick. Change the color. You can't do that. We gotta just use a different one. This color matches quite well with the other floors that we have. I kind of like that. I think that's nice, to be honest. What do you 
What do you guys think? We could probably keep the wood ceiling though. I don't think it looks rotten like that person said. I don't know. It's giving like rustic to me. I don't know if I like the paneling though. Hard for me to say. It's kind of stressing me out this house. Can I mow? Pause. Flamethrower. Brush cutter. Oh! You guys. There's something so fun about mowing. I gotta be honest with you. It's like unmatched. How fun is this? Right? Am I gonna go all the way? I think so. Oh my god, we're gonna- we could spend ages doing this. This is why House Slipper is so fun to me. It's just like, relaxing. And there's so many little tasks you can do. That makes you sick? Oh, does it? I'm sorry. Like a motion sickness kind of vibe? I feel okay right now following the edge. Can you buy a riding mower? Um, I think I might need to like, upgrade my nine minutes of mowing. How do I get a real, Only to complete some garden jobs to get the mower. Oh. I don't think I ever played with the garden DLC that much. I guess I'll have to do that next time. I won't mow for too long. I just need to do this a little bit. I guess I just haven't unlocked it yet. So I didn't do all the garden jobs. I like this a lot. I'm gonna go in like a full circle around the <laughs> side of the building. Hmm. Does it make sense to buy a house slipper or would I wait for the second one? Um, I don't know. I mean, is there a release date for house slipper too? I don't, I didn't think that there was. Just says Q3. Oh, so it's not that far away. You could probably wait for it. It might be worth waiting for. Cause that's not that far away anymore. Q3 means the third quarter of the year. So we're not quite close to that yet, you know, but around like July to October. Yeah. Um, I don't know. This will be the kitchen. Should we do the same tile in here? This little brick? No, I kind of like the wood everywhere. I think I want to keep the wood. I don't know. We've not made that much progress in this house. I'm probably gonna get off stream soon too. And it's just, we're just gonna have this sad little house. Nothing done for it. There is furniture. I mean like, look at this. You can buy all kinds of stuff. Beds and everything. Just sell it now and see what happens. That reminds me, I have a bunch of houses. Let me go back to the house for a second. I have a bunch of um, houses that I never sold. Finish tomorrow. Oh, we were gonna play Not So Berry in The Sims tomorrow. Um, that was the plan. Ooh, focus. I don't know. How many of you guys have House Slipper on Switch? Does it run okay on Switch? 
You'll have to let us know. I'm not sure that... I, I can't picture this game... I don't know. That makes me a little bit nervous. It's buggy and slow. It's been good for you. Oh, the horse is in the house. Okay. That's pretty good, to be honest. So. I took a screenshot. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> but I was gonna look... I have a bunch of these. I never finished some of these garden flipper ones. Should I just go back to like some of these old ones and just sell them? Mm, time spent in the house, no time. Maybe not. The horse does have a name, yeah, its name is Hope. Uh, and this is my dog named Lassie. You know, this is a lot. Oh my gosh. Look. It's a cat. Looks just like my cat. Must be why I put it there. I don't know you people. Butterfly? <laughs> I did decorate this, so it does it's it makes sense that it looks like my cat. Oh, this is okay too. I even got blinds. That's not too bad. Will it poop on the carpet? The horse? I don't know. Maybe. Not my problem though. <laughs> Should probably like clear this up too. <laughs> you don't have a shower? Yeah, I I keep saying I'm gonna like do one of the new house- Oh, it laid down in the house. I keep saying I'm gonna finish one of the new houses and then not finishing it. Oh, I closed myself out. We'll finish this little farmhouse, mark my words. I really like the, um... Honestly, I really like the, uh... This one that was from the pet stuff. I quite like this one, too. Yeah, this is- that's just like our office, though. It's not really our house, it's more just an office. We were kind of working on this one before. I don't forget how far we got along with it. Let's go find out. <laughs> I can't believe I've got a horse in my tiny little one room house. Oh yeah, the lights. Oh my God, I remember. Uh... Close your eyes, it's blue. Um, I remember that I really was excited about those lights. I also used a flamethrower on the entire ground and then I got upset and didn't want to build it anymore because I didn't realize what I was doing. And I, yeah, I, th I ruined everything because I used a flamethrower on the whole house. This is quite nice, to be honest. Look at that. We have a pantry. Up here. Oh, we didn't furnish this yet. Oh, I like it in here, though. That's good vibes upstairs. Can fix that with turf. Yeah, but I was getting really frustrated placing it all. Oh, this is nice. It's pretty fancy, to be honest. Oh, look at that! Oh my gosh, this is kind of cute. Okay. Oh, I already went in there. Oh! <laughs> Great progress. <laughs> This house has potential. If I eventually redo all the landscaping, I like the vibes in here. This is nice. There's a butterfly. We could put like a pool or something. I don't know. It's pretty. I like it. I remember I was really excited about these fairy lights. That was pretty fun for me to place. Beautiful, stunning, amazing. Cute, look at the view. Right by, right by the train. Yeah, we spent a long time on those lights. We sure did, yeah. <laughs> anyway, um, I think we should probably go and find someone to raid. 
You think we made Dan come look at the lights and the flamethrower? I wouldn't be surprised if I did that. I literally just sent Dan a screenshot of my horse. So. That sounds about right. <laughs> You're 100% sure we did? Yeah, probably. House Slipper is just fun. It's good vibes playing this game. You decorate, you clean. It's just nice. It's just nice. But anyway, stream schedule wise, oh gosh. Um, this week, he said, oh wow, in response to my horse in the house. Um, this week, tomorrow, we're gonna play Not So Berry, I think. And then on Wednesday, it is Pietro and Animal Crossing's birthday. So, those are our plans for the next two days. Um, Not So Berry and then Pietro and Animal Crossing. I wanna celebrate. We're gonna play Animal Crossing on Wednesday, so... <laughs> that is the plan. Um, we, we must celebrate the clown prince, you know? Are we making a clown cake? Oh my god. Well, I wasn't gonna. I was gonna just play Animal Crossing, but that's not a bad idea. Oh, you guys. Today, I bought, um, so this is, I, this is like a spoiler, but there's not that many people here, right? So I can tell you guys. Um, so, <laughs> today, um, I was, uh, I was, uh, ordering a second set of stickers. So the past couple years for St. Jude, I've got like some fun stickers that I've sent out to folks. I had like these dinosaur stickers last year. Um, this year, maybe I won't spoil them both. This year I bought a different one of my emotes, um, one of the cat emotes to give out as stickers. And then today I impulse decided that I wanted to do a second sticker and um, I ordered stickers of Simsy Clown. <laughs> the other one is like way cuter. And then I got the clown stickers. <laughs> it's that, um, the Simsy Clown emote is the one that I'm getting stickers of. So. Yeah. I don't know. We'll see how that goes. <laughs> I've already got my cards bought. And then I'm gonna do, um, some giveaways from of the Animal Crossing Amiibos again. And so today I was thinking about buying some uh, cards with Pietro on them for the Amiibos that we're gonna send out to folks that donate as well. So <laughs> I got big plans. <laughs> I'm actually quite excited about it, but our, our uh, St. Jude event stuff starts in May. We'll do it every day for the whole month of May. So it'll be kind of fun. I love Play Lifetime. We always do a lot of silly things, so. <laughs> <laughs> Look at all the clowns in the chat. It's so cursed. Oh my goodness. Anyway, it's gonna be really exciting. I've got a couple other tricks up my sleeve, incentive-wise, that are new this year. Um, and I think you're really gonna like. The- one of them, um, I don't want to say what it is, but it's a- I think it's a really good idea. And I've- I- I don't know. I think you're really gonna like it. Um, so. That's all. I won't say, though. Cause I can't, I don't, I, we gotta like leave some surprises for when it starts. Tell mods. Oh, I can show you guys probably. Anyway, let me go see who's live. <laughs> I'm so excited. Sorry everyone for my secret keeping, but. No, it's not Taylor Swift. It's a prize. <laughs> I don't think Taylor Swift wants to hang out with me. I think she's busy. Oh my God. Sorry. My friend Shella is playing The Sims 3 again. She's in a Sims 3 era like I am right now. Um, her title says living out my horse girl dreams. <laughs> I know where we're going. <laughs> Shella's playing horses in The Sims 3 and I know where to go. The Sims 3 is such a fun game. It's like my most favorite thing in the entire world. I'm not exaggerating. I love The Sims 3. I love The Sims 3 and she's playing with horses, so. Um, if you would like to go and learn about horses in The Sims 3, well then, you're in luck, chat. <laughs> um, she also has a cat cam, so that'll be kind of fun too. You can see your cat, you can see your horse. Um, and yeah, her four-year stream anniversary was yesterday. Oh, did any of you watch her, um, her, like, look at the things that people made for her? Everybody sent her these, like, really nice notes, and I didn't. I sent her a picture of Pulp. Everybody was like writing these paragraphs of like, oh, I love you, Shella, you're so great. And mom just said, pulp. And then it said, that is all. So, 
Thought you guys would like that one. I wasn't there though. Yesterday, I missed it. So <laughs> I was busy. I was doing gardening. I planted a lemon tree in my backyard yesterday. So I had plans. Sorry, Shella, for missing your stream. <laughs> but I was busy yesterday. <laughs> Anyway, it's gonna kick me off. I have to go. The raid is ending. Otherwise, it's just gonna cut me off. So thank you for watching. I'll see you guys tomorrow, okay? We'll play some Sims and stuff. All right, I love you. I miss you. Always sending now. Okay, okay, bye! <laughs> oh no, stop streaming.